in today's video, we're going to take a look at Pegasus Installer, which is an easier way to install Pegasus on your Android handheld. Pegasus is an emulation front end and it's going to help you display your retro game library really beautifully. The installer will also help you download the box art, game descriptions, and also help you set up your emulator settings as well. Don't forget to check out my previous video which was on the LaunchBox front end and I'll have a link in the description below. So you're probably wondering why use the Pegasus installer and why not just use the regular Pegasus front end? Well, it takes a little bit more tinkering to get the Pegasus front end to work by itself. Pegasus is a very customizable piece of software and to get anywhere with it, you do need to write your own text files and those text files are going to tell Pegasus where to look for box art and emulators and how to get games running. So if you don't want to do any of that, well, the installer is actually going to do all of that for you. So as you can see, I did try to configure Pegasus by myself, trying to link the emulators to where my ROMs were. And eventually I did get it working, but with the box art, it did seem like it was a lot of work to do all of that manually. If you look under the Pegasus tools page, there is a scraper available to download all of your box art. But this tool called Skyscraper uses Linux and command prompts, and that may not be for everyone. There is also an unsupported Windows version on the page as well, but I didn't use that. So a couple of months ago, the developer of the Pegasus installer actually asked me to try it out. And I do apologize, I haven't gotten around to it until now, but I'm glad I finally gotten around to it because it proved very useful. So let me just run through some of the features of the Pegasus installer. The installer is gonna help you automatically configure all of your emulators with the right aspect ratios, shaders, hotkeys, and it's gonna install all of the emulators for you. It's also going to help you scrape the artwork, including box art and screenshots. It also asks you if you want to set up bezels, so you can set that up as well. And it's going to come with a bunch of pre-installed themes. One thing I want to mention before I show you how to use the Pegasus installer is to use the step-by-step -step guide on the official website. And that's because the instructions could change at any time, which means this video could go out of date. So the first thing you want to do is allow your device to install apps from unknown sources. And you can do this easily by going to the settings and then searching for unknown sources and just toggling that on. After you've done that, go to Chrome and then just search for Pegasus Installer. Go down to the step-by-step -step guide and you want to click on the link that takes you directly to download Termux. And then just go ahead and download that. Okay, so once you've done that, just find where you've downloaded it to and then install it. Go to the step-by-step -step guide and copy this line from step two and you're gonna copy this into the Termux application. And then click OK, and then it's gonna start the process. So it's gonna take a while to download and install everything. So while that's going, you can always go to my YouTube channel page and watch another Gym RPG video. Or why not check out my brand new second channel, which is where I'm gonna be posting all of my game reviews and let's plays. It's called Oh My Games, and I'll leave a link in the description below. So from time to time, it might ask you to overwrite files, and I chose a no option, but I think it couldn't hurt to overwrite them. So I think you're okay to choose either one. So it's gonna ask you other questions as well, like what Android device you're using, what SNES aspect ratio you like, if you prefer bezels or you don't. When it comes to scraping artwork, if you want to use Screen Scraper, you do need an account. So you need to set up a username and password on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you ever have a change of mind, you can always go back to Termux and repeat the installation process again. So Pegasus installer has finished, so let's open it up and take a look at Pegasus. And you'll see that the game library is unfinished at the moment because we haven't moved our ROMs over to their respective folders. And this is something you're gonna have to do manually. So during the installation process, there was an option to choose whether you wanna store all of your ROMs on your Android device or an SD card. I chose the Android device. 
So now I'm copying over my ROMs from my previous location to the newly created ROMs directory. Now you don't have to do this on your Android device like I'm doing it here. You can connect your handheld to a PC with a USB-C cable and just do it that way. Either way, look for that ROMs directory and then copy over all of your ROMs to their respective directories. So once you've copied over all your ROMs, you want to go back into Termux and then scrape your ROMs for all of the artwork and screenshots and game descriptions. So here I'm just doing it for the Game Boy games that I have copied over, but really you should probably just copy over all of your ROMs first and then come back and scrape your ROMs. And here is Pegasus after I've copied over the Game Boy ROMs and also scraped for the Game Boy artwork. Okay, let me show you what Pegasus looks like after you've copied over all of your ROMs and then scraped for the artwork. So it does come with the Android apps first, but that should be pretty easy to hide. I just haven't looked for a solution for that yet. Here are all the Game Boy games, and this is the Pegasus grid theme. So one thing about the Pegasus installer is that it doesn't get everything completely, there are some gaps, so you're just going to have to fill that in yourself manually. But it does get maybe like about 80% of the way there. Okay, so it's time to check out some themes. So the previous one was obviously called the Pegasus Grid. This is the Epic North theme. And this is the theme that I like to use in Arc OS. So I've got this on my RG503 and also my RG351P. The text size is a little bit small there, but that should be customizable. This is the Switch theme and I think it's pretty cool. There's a light mode and dark mode as well. This is the Retro Mega Next theme and this is probably my favorite. I really like how clean everything looks and how well laid out it is. One of my pet peeves for themes is that sometimes there isn't enough room for the game title and it looks like there's enough room for most of the titles here. I also like how the text size for the description is really readable as well. This next theme is called Clear OS and I quite like the look of this theme, although it is a little bit tricky to get your way around. You have to select the system first and then go down to all games, which means it takes a couple of button presses to get to everything. This is called Game OS and this one is also really nice too. It uses the game title logo, so if you like that sort of thing, then this might be the one for you. The last pre-installed theme is called Shin Retro and I really like the look of the game title page here. You've got your game that you're about to select at the top, but also four other games to choose from down the bottom and the box art is large enough that you can appreciate it. Okay, troubleshooting time. Let's say for example your game's not running. Well, it might be because the link to the game isn't working properly. So here I'm going to look up the metadata file for GBA and I can see that it's linking to the MGBA core in libretro. So if you go back into your handheld and go to RetroArch and see if you've actually downloaded and installed that core. So for me, I was actually using the GPSP core and not the MGBA core. So this was a pretty easy fix. All I did was just download MGBA and that seemed to get it working. So you might find there's a little bit more work for you to do to tidy up everything, uh, particularly when it comes to getting all of the box art. For example, none of my Neo Geo box art showed up, so uh, there's still a little bit more work for me to do. But the installer should get you about 90% of the way there. Okay, so that's going to be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.